When you discard a narcissist, this is what happens. I'm glad to see you again. It's been a while. Everyone have a wonderful day. My advice is simple. Get rid of a narcissist as soon as possible. This is why today's video is all about it. Please note that I'm not just talking about romantic relationships with a narcissist, but also with narcissistic family members and friends. But this particular discard wasn't something the narcissist had in mind or planned. There's no denying it. Therefore, my research objective is to investigate what happens in the minds of narcissists who have been rejected. Even when their relationships come to an end, narcissistic persons feel entitled to the outcome. They want to be in charge of every aspect of your life. They believe they are the only ones with the power to shape the future of their relationship. The narcissist should be in power as long as it's in their best interest. If you abandon or expel the narcissist from your life, they will take offense. Those who have been excommunicated are almost certain to suffer a narcissistic injury since their false sense of self is attacked by their removal. Narcissists, on the other hand, have the perfect opportunity to present themselves as the victim when you break up with them. However, in reality, they're the ones who abandon their victim. Despite their apparent displays of anguish and tenderness, they are secretly plotting your demise. How you get rid of the narcissist matters a lot when it comes to how much damage you may inflict on them. Even if you dump the narcissist in a public or private way, the narcissist will still be surprised by your decision. As a result, they'll pretend they're the victim in order to hide their shame and anger. Narcissists can detach and blame you since no excuse is ever acceptable when you dump a narcissist. In no way were they to blame for their dismissal, because of anything they did or said. If you point out any issues, they'll either downplay, ignore, or pretend to have no recollection of them. According to the narcissist, they were in charge. If you merely follow, they appear to be happy. All of this was done with the express purpose of assisting them rather than helping you in any way. They genuinely cared about you in a way that no one else ever could. They can't imagine what their lives would be like if you weren't there. In order to fool you into thinking that you and the narcissist are in a reciprocal relationship, they would say things like that. As a result, they'll keep spreading the word that you're self-centered and unappreciative. It's possible that their reaction to a discard will differ depending on whether or not you were an important supply source for the narcissist. If you are a primary source of income for the narcissist, he or she would fight tooth and nail to keep you around. Using their flying monkeys, they'll try to persuade you to change your mind. Their eyes will be filled with tears. To get your attention, they'll make suicidal threats and engage in self-destructive conduct. At any given moment, they'll try to swoop down on you and take your life. And it's because a narcissist can hit rock bottom because of the primary sources discard. In the event that they lose an essential source of supply, narcissists sink into the depths of despair. In order to restore their primary source of sustenance, the narcissist will only do so when they have hit rock bottom. Nevertheless, the narcissist may be so shamed by their loss that they disappear. The fact that so many of them can't stand it is undeniable. The narcissist will, however, constantly smear and degrade you if you're their secondary supply or even negative supply. Meanwhile, they're putting together an all-flying monkey pity party. It's also possible for them to pretend that you aren't a substantial source of supply, which would prompt them to go to another source of provision and pretend that they are fine without you. However, they pretend to be unconcerned due to their belief in more trustworthy sources of supplies and the ability to recapture you when the moment is right, making them look to be unconcerned. When it all comes down to it, the amount of narcissistic supply someone provides is what really matters here. A small sample of narcissists' reactions to being discarded is provided in this video. Furthermore, the narcissist's response to your departure depends on your relationship with them. 
Who are you? What are you doing here? This is what narcissists always think. In addition, retaliation is always on the mind of the narcissist because they are unable to forgive or forget. Narcissists will never forget what you did for them once you've broken up with them. Because of their desperate want for narcissistic supply, they may appear to move quickly under certain conditions. They haven't forgotten about you or given up on your relationship with them, as some might assume from this. Because of the shock and disbelief induced by the unexpected rejection, a narcissist who loses control of their life is more prone to experience narcissistic fury, humiliation or denial. Leaving a door open for the return of a narcissist after a breakup is a surefire way for you to get hurt again. That's all there is to say today. Anyone who has dealt with a narcissist before is encouraged to share their experience in the comment section below. Please give it a thumbs up and spread the word if you liked it. It's been a pleasure having you here today. Thank you very much.